ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار tonight before i start inshallah we just remember our brothers and sisters in in Palestine and we all hearing what they're trying to do uh, the Jews in there and uh, they just finished building a temple right across from the Masjid Al-Aqsa and uh, what they're doing now they're trying to close the uh, main entrance to the main uh, Arab marketplace in in Jerusalem so and open another one from another side which by this way they paralyze the business in there and this way they force the people to leave and that's what they're trying to do uh, unfortunately supported by the government uh, our government and uh, the loyalty to Israel is always sacred as the president has said yesterday so the, the change has to be or has to come from us and we cannot depend on anyone to change our conditions and our situations and it's time now to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, perhaps what we can do for them is the dua that a lot of us even uh, being stingy with that so just remember them in your uh, salah and your dua as well as all the Muslims around the world but it's good news inshallah it's good news because uh, they, they're gathering and gathering and gathering and they're building more settlements and they want to bring more Jews from all over the world knowing that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has promised promised that they will all gather there so they're يعني, as they said digging their grave with their own hands they, they don't have any consideration for human rights they don't have consideration for, for people, for kids, for blood and they tell you the, the, the report is mainly they're targeting the faces and targeting the faces with their bullets the faces of those kids that are throwing rocks uh, defending their uh, their holy places or the places where they need to worship so make dua for them and Allah give them victory tonight inshallah we reach the point where Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said والولاية ضد العداوة وأصل الولاية المحبة والقرب وأصل العداوة البغض والبعد وقد قيل إن الولي سمي وليا من موالاته للطاعات أي متابعته لها والأول, والأول وصح والولي القريب فيقال هذا يلي هذا أي يقرب منه ومنه قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم ألحق الفرائض بأهلها فما أبقت الفرائض فلأولى رجل ذكر أي لأقرب رجل إلى الميت وأكده بلفظ الذكر ليبين أنه حكم يختص بالذكور ولا يشترك فيها الذكور والإناث كما قال في الزكاة فابن لبون ذكر فإذا كان ولي الله هو الموافق المتابع له فيما يحبه ويرضاه ويبغضه ويسخط ويأمر به وينهى عنه كان المعادي لوليه معاديا له كما قال تعالى لا تتخذوا عدوي وعدوكم أولياء تلقون إليهم بالمودة فمن عاد أولياء الله فقد عاده ومن عاداه فقد حاربه فلهذا قال ومن عاد لي وليا فقد بارزني بالمحارمة هير انتهى كلام الشيخ دا شيخ الإسلام نتيمي رحمه الله after we have brought for the last two weeks the evidence after he brought the evidence in his book from the Quran and from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the evidence for the existence and for the differentiation and for the division between the awliya of Ar-Rahman and the awliya of Shaitan because all people cannot be the awliya of Allah especially that they are enemies of each other and all people cannot be the awliya of Shaitan especially that amongst them those who connect with Allah and worship and obey Allah so according to the Quran and the Sunnah 
they are different and they are people who are divided into those two categories. Some of the awliya rahman and some of the awliya shaitan. After he brought uh, and driven the, the proofs, now he's talking to you about the meaning of the word. And after the meaning of the word, he will start talking about the description, specific description of those who, are, who deserve to be the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as I said before, then we compare our actions, we compare ourselves to these descriptions and these, uh, these recommendations and then we try to improve ourselves. Wherever we see that we're missing in one category, we start establishing and initiating that in our life. Wherever we see that we are having some shortcomings in certain category, then we try to improve it and flourish it and prosper it. So, inshallah, we start with him. So he says, وَالْوِلَايَةُ ضُدُّ الْعَدَاوَةِ Wilaya, which is the, يعني, the origin or the noun of the word wali. Wilaya is the, the, يعني, the, the noun itself, the, the action itself, wilaya ضُدُّ الْعَدَاوَةِ The opposite of animosity. So, wilaya is the opposite of animosity. What does that mean? وَأَصْلُ الْوِلَايَةِ He tells you the origin of this word, الْوِلَايَةِ and that from this word comes الْوَلِي and الْأَوْلِيَاء and all that. وَأَصْلُهَا الْمَحَبَّةُ وَالْقُرْبُ Two things, love and being close. The love and being close. And those who love Allah, those who want to be the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one of the first conditions is to love Allah. They have to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will see those who love they have to do certain things because everyone says we love but those who truly love have to they become obligated to do specific things that's the first thing and then the qurb qurb is to be close by okay to be near wilaya يعني من المحبة والقرب to to be in love and to be close to وأصل العداوة البغض والبعد since we said the wilaya comes from the love then the opposite of that will be hate so the awliya of Rahman, if they, they, one of their characters, they love Allah, so those who don't love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be awliya as well. So they have to be on the, on the other side. وَالْبُغْضُ وَالْبُعْدُ So if we said to be close, that means the opposite is to be far away. So you want to be from, yeah, and just from this specific or this simple definition or the origin of the word al-wilaya, you see that you have to be in love with Allah and you have to be close to Him. You have to love him and thus obey him and follow him because you ha that's what you have to do to someone you love. Okay? That's يعني, Usually when you're in love with someone, you do what they want. Huh? You don't ask why. You do right away. You want me to do this? I'll do it. You actually sometimes you ask them, do you want me to do this? You don't wait for their command. And that is how when we talk about love to Allah, as well as to near or qurb, you usually when you love someone, you want to be close to them. No one loves someone and want to stay away from them. Okay? So it's very important we understand. And the opposite, those who fight Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who are the enemy of Allah, and those, for our example, who hate someone in this dunya, you usually hate them and you want to stay away from them. You don't like trying to draw yourself closer to them. Then he says, وَقَدْ قِيلْ إِنَّ الْوَلِيَّ سُمِّيَ وَلِيًّا مِنْ مُوَالَاتِهِ لِلطَّاعَاتِ أَيْ مُتَابَعَتَهُ لَهَا Another يعني, uh, opinion about the origin of the word wali, they said because wali, as we said, one of its يعني, meaning is to be close by. But also one of the meaning is to do consecutively. So what they're saying, another meaning is because the wali always doing the ibadat one after another. Huh? Always consecutively. يعني, he doesn't stop one after another. So they're saying the wali deserves to be called that because he's obeying Allah right after one another. فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ So because he's always doing, he finished one ibadah start, next, tali, tali, يعني يوالي, فاهم يوالي يعني follow up. Every time he does a ibadah he follows up. But actually this is not a definition of the meaning or this is not a meaning of the wali more than a condition. Okay? More than a condition of the wali. Yes, the wali needs to do that. One of the characters, as we will say, of the awliya, that's what they do. They follow up with their ibadah. They do ibadah and they follow it up with another ibadah. Then another, another ibadah. This is one of their characters, but it's not really the definition of the word the wali itself. The first definition is more correct, and that is the love and to be near or to be.